you're watching this, I'm dead.
you'll be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them. One by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. Watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. Many of you knew Bruce from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. And he was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice 
and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. How's Alfred? What you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector who works behind the scenes. If he only knew. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. Here's something else she doesn't know. She has the body of Batman's killer in her morgue. Rachel Ghoul is listed as a John Doe, slated for cremation. And what if the League of Shadows finds him? If they drop their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? It doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. Ominous, but not exactly helpful. I saw a few places we should poke around. Construction sites, a quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist at Gotham University. Not sure what his connection is, though. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Who gets to talk to Langstrom? I'm at Gotham U. What's the story so far with this professor? Kirk Langstrom. Batman attached a half-finished file to his code black. Langstrom must have been mixed up in something bad. Eyes open and ready for anything, then. So we got 
got a positive ID on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. Bad news. Langstrom is dead. Any idea where I can find his office? Langstrom's dead. Damn it. The note said his office is in Molten Hall, the third floor. Thank you. The balcony doors are open. That's my way in. Here we go. The cops didn't spend much time here. Langstrom must have died somewhere else. These marks are suspicious. I wonder what made them. All I have is dead end so far. I feel like this might turn into something. You'd like it. I'm breaking into a lab. I always did love a good break-in. Even that night you accidentally tripped the alarm? Excuse me, that was you. I'll see if there's anything else to this lead. Stay safe. You too. Looks like Langstrom was attacked at his workstation. He lost a lot of blood. He tried to get away. And then the attacker pinned him to the wall. Brutal. Langstrom spent his final moments crawling toward that cabinet. Why didn't he try to leave the lab? Holy crap, it's a hidden door. What were you hiding, Dr. Langstrom? The thermostat could definitely double as a keypad. I've never seen a microwave like this before. Maybe it's for more than just late night burritos. Langstrom made specific note of these dates. And now I will too. If this movie meant something to Langstrom, the release date could be significant. A phone number. It's not a Gotham area code. Could be something. That did it. Let's find out what secrets this guy was keeping. This is something. Batman's dead professor was researching some real sketchy stuff. Langstrom's desk. What's this? That's a hard drive. Might have some answers. Better get this back to the Belfry. Hey, I think I'm done here. Cops cleared out quick. Missed some weird marks on the walls, in a hidden lab, with an even more hidden hard drive. Sounds good. See you back here soon. A fire alarm? Did someone see me?
Teach them a lesson. I'm on it. That racket! Turn off the damn! Oh. Oh. Gotta stop these freaks from burning this place to the ground. Shut up, fire alarm! Die! 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 Down you go. You're fine. Stay hidden. Are the fumes getting to you, buddy? Hey there. Smashy, smashy, smash, smash! Smashy, smashy, smash, smash! <laughs> What's your status? Just a lot going on tonight. I'm gonna head back now with Langstrom's hard drive. Finally.
you guys are ready. Great! It feels like years since I got to analyze some evidence. Nice work grabbing that drive from Langstrom's lab. Do we have any idea of what killed Langstrom yet? Once we can get at the data, we can figure out what our next move is. I'm going out. I'm not gonna sit and wait for her. Whatever this shit is. We're waiting for intel, Jason. Once we have it, then we'll go. <sighs> Move. I'm gonna solve this case my way. Stop it! He wanted us to work this together. <sighs> Whatever. It's making this harder than it has to be, kid. I guess, since we're waiting anyway, we might as well take another look at what Bruce had on Langstrom. Crap. That must have been the secondary breaker. The primary went out months ago. I thought the backup would hold. I got it. No need. I've put in a small fix that should hold for a while. Wasn't sure you were coming, Alfred. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. I'm glad you're here. As am I, Master Tim. This place does need work. Damn it! We've got activity all over the city. Sweet. Looks like my plan wins. Hold up. We still need the intel. 
And Alfred can't exactly set this place up alone. Indeed, Miss Gordon. I have a list of supplies we'll need. I could do it on my own, but it would be faster if I had help. You can count on us, Alfred. We'll divvy it up. Let's finish what Bruce started. Hey, Tim. How'd it go at the quarry? Not well. I sweeped the whole place and didn't find anything. No one's been there in ages. How are we supposed to see the full picture when most of the pieces are missing? Bruce left us one hell of a last case. I mean, what kind of person builds a secret lab in their lab? Someone who has something to hide, obviously. But what? What was he trying to make, and who is he hiding it from? Yeah, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's wait and see what that hard drive has to tell us first. Right. We'll get some answers soon enough. Happy to report we're now fully operational. Before you head back, though... You got something, Belfry? 
The hard drive from Langstrom's lab requires a biodecryption key. That sounds like it's in his body, which is at the morgue. Indeed. With knights in Gotham as they are, it should be quiet at the station. Relatively. I guess I did want to see how Montoya was handling the new commissioner. I'll let you know what I find. GCPD. Makes sneaking into the station a little easier, at least. Guess I can't just ask the front desk where they're keeping Langstrom's body. The morgue's on the far side of the bullpen. Make sure the cops don't see you sneaking around. Goddamn freaks. That's my daughter's school. We got a few in lockup. One call. Did anyone claim that John Doe body? Buff guy pay a hundred bucks for five minutes alone. Turn your body cam off. for a bad signal. The morgue's somewhere on the other side of this bullpen. Now would be a particularly bad time to be spotted. Clean for a while. He 
he's definitely overreacting. I barely hit that kid. Not my fault he tripped and hit the curb. Yeah, goddamn parents want to sue the city. Good thing he's got priors. The lawyers will use that. They sure released the Langstrom scene quick. The freak showed up. Kind of took the attention away. Plus, you know, it was clearly an accident. An accident? Have you seen the pictures? We closed cases here. You want to play detective, Rook? You're in the wrong city. GCPD's finest, everybody. Ugh. Figures it's locked. Guessing a higher clearance. Someone must have a key. The desk sergeant, perhaps. I'm almost flattered. Someone knock out the forensics team? Keep your guard up. Whew, not dead. Trained you well. Pretty sure he told you to stay out of Gotham. Dead men's wishes don't concern me. Besides, I'm here to clean up my father's mess. Which in this case is the demon himself. You're just burning him? Might be hard to bring Raish back if he's Ash, Talia. Even a Lazarus pit has some limits. Wait! Why was he after Bruce? the ME found something. You're looking for... Blood would definitely be handy for biodecryption. For 
for measuring glucose in the blood. Did Langstrom have diabetes? I won't make a joke about needing a tissue. I wonder if the GCPD has my prints on file. It's amazing you can read oxygen through a finger. Langstrom had some health issues beyond being pinned to a wall. Imagine being allergic to something as delicious as seafood. Is this for playing a game online? He hid the data in a glucose meter that reads his blood. Ah, Belfry. GCPD just figured out Talia's been here. I need a way out. Way ahead of you. They're coming in heavy, so be careful. Wait, Batman never told me he had access to the GCPD systems. Now I guess I do too? And now, for my next trick... Ooh, you're good. I'm sneaking out of here. Entrance is secure. Spread out. We'll find the perk. Keep going. They gotta be here somewhere. Belfry, all clear to exit the station. Thanks for the assist. Happy to help. Can't wait to see what you found. Keep looking. Someone's here. We're not alone here. Keep searching. Hey, Belfry, the GCPD found me. Ah, do be careful, sir. It really wouldn't do to chip the paint on the bat cycle this quickly. No, we don't want that. All right. Okay, lab notes, formulas, financial records, research into hearing loss, human experimentation and trials? That looks like cash payouts to volunteers. I recognize some of these jerks. They're all known gang members. So Langstrom was doing medical experiments on criminals. You're crowding me. Miss Gordon. The hollow imaging system is back online as of this morning. Perfect timing, Alfred. Hey, I forgot how sweet your setup was, Babs. It's ancient, but it'll do for now. You and Master Bruce are the only two people in the entire world who would consider the Belfry systems ancient. 
While researching Langstrom, I also called up all we've got on... our party crasher. Talia Al Ghul. She was a match for Master Bruce in more ways than one. Her presence in Gotham is concerning. So is the fact that she torched her old man's body. We sure that was Ra's al Ghul? His DNA was all over the weapon she left behind. I wonder why she didn't take a chance and use a Lazarus pit to revive him. Well, Batman would just find Talia and ask her himself. Good thinking. Yeah, I can double check Talia's kunai for trace materials that we can track. We should also hit the streets, find out if anyone had any beef with Langstrom. Sweet. Time to bust some skulls. The evidence board has been updated. I can't get over what Talia did to her father's body back there. Good riddance. Going in a Lazarus pit once is hell. Who knows what a thousand dunk would have done to him. So you think it really was a show of mercy? Oh, she was putting on a show all right. But I doubt it was mercy. Seems like Dr. Langstrom was into some pretty wild stuff. I wish he was still alive. I'd ask him what the heck he was thinking. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night, expecting Bruce to call me for help. And then I remember. I thought it might have been one of you calling just now. I was worried. Old habits, I suppose. That's why I thought going to Bloodhaven alone would be easier. But it wasn't. I won't be like him, Alfred. Bruce left some big shoes to fill. But I'm gonna do things my way. And I'll be here to support you. Gotham is in good hands.
Physical and mental preparation go hand in hand. Here, we can train the mind to prepare the body. But it requires deep focus. Let go of your self-doubt and focus on my voice. Time your dodge to create an opening for a powerful counterattack. Something there? Crap! Nightwing, this is... I expect no less. I'm proud of you, Dick. In the heat of battle, remember to not rush. Time your strikes well to build momentum in the fight. Good, but don't get complacent. say about no honor and all that? Uh, I'll talk. Thank you. You want to tell Nightwing, right? I got some things I could tell you, uh, I guess. Thanks. As expected. Well done. Ready to move on. 
Nice and easy. Get complacent. Sharpen your basic combat skills against this opponent. Expect no less. When an enemy blocks your attack, break through their defenses with a heavy strike. As expected. Well done. Come on! Let's 
go. Get complacent. I'm proud of you, Dick. Heard Montoya stuck it to Commissioner Kane back at the police station. Yeah. Because she was fiercely loyal to him. No, because she wasn't afraid to call people on their shit, including him. Now, Doc, make this exciting. <laughs> My neighbor's place got broken into. <laughs> There's gotta be someone who can hear me! <laughs> someone off Kirk Langstrom. You're a know anything now. about that? Wasn't me! I didn't have nothing to do with him getting pinned to the wall. Man, now I won't get that Keep super the pressure on him! Promised. Was that so hard? Ugh! <sighs> 
your buddy Langstrom was murdered. Spill it. What do you know? I, I, I don't know who burned the dock. His research was top secret. Even my boss didn't know I was doing work for him. Dick, maybe it was just an accident. Hey, Belfry. No one seems to know why Langstrom got off. We have Talia's location. Wouldn't hurt to talk to her while we figure out a new plan. Sending coordinates. Got it. Thanks. He's a runner! Stop it! Oh, Red Hood sighting tonight! reach Talia's location. Good. Don't trust her for a minute. What? Just because her father was a Dane? Talia! You know you're not welcome in Gotham. Pack up your league and go. I'm not their commander. They cast me out. Huh. You want me to believe Raish's daughter didn't inherit the job after his death? Because destroying his body isn't suspicious at all. My late father insisted Bruce would be the next head of the League, despite his refusal. Since that ill-fated duel, all the League can agree on is carrying out Raish's mission. If Bruce was Raish's heir, why did Raish kill him? That makes no sense. I agree. It was an irrational whim. I warned him the Batman would be his downfall. But repeated exposure to the Lazarus Pits breaks down a subject's mind. Eventually, their true self is erased. So, instead of giving Raish another chance at resurrection, you stabbed and burned what was left of his body. Consider it a logical choice. A painless end for him, and closure for the League. And for me. <laughs> now they want me dead. Well, we both got what we wanted. You can go now. I have other matters to attend to. The funeral was tasteful. I'm sure Bruce would have appreciated it. Don't. Pull the widow and orphan act with me. You still haven't answered my question. No, but I can ask you one. Why would an apprentice to the cowl break into the morgue? I know you weren't following me. It's an ongoing investigation. Ongoing? Left behind by Bruce. I wish you the best of luck. You'll be needing it soon. Because once the League regains its footing, Gotham will be in its sights. Goddamn ninjas. Belfry, I met Talia. I think she's split from the League. We heard. Also noticed you didn't bring up Langstrom. We don't need to give her any leads. We're a step ahead of her. Good instincts. Her angle here is definitely TBD. Hey, um, we can use you in the Belfry. What do you need? So Harley contacted Batman using, I don't know, a homing pigeon and a USB drive? And that's how we got this video? Babs, help? Do we think it's legit? Bruce never talked to me about it. When Bruce worked with criminals, he didn't exactly keep us in the loop. Yeah, it's not you, Tim. But it's also not crazy to think that Harley made this up. Just play it. Then we'll know. Hi, Betsy. Been a while. 
It's weird, because I heard a rumor that you were dead. Oh, boy. Anyway, I got what you wanted. Hope that ain't what got you dead. <laughs> so come visit me at Blackgate. Wait, hasn't Harley Quinn been out of Gotham ever since, you know, her ex? Killed me? Isn't that what you meant? Rumor has it she did some government thing. Went straight. Ish. She's got something. Then we go find Harley. Now. New data was added to the board. Do you think this Harley thing is really worth following up on? Harley may be out of her mind, but it's a brilliant mind. She helped a lot of people before she got, um, sidetracked? Yeah, but why would she help Batman? Or us? Bruce always tried to give criminals a chance to rehabilitate. Maybe she was thinking about going legit. For all of two seconds. <laughs> what? I was just thinking of that time we all made dinner together, and Tim got tomato sauce all over Bruce and Bats. <laughs> I don't remember that. What? No, you have to. It was the same year. You know what? Never mind. Dumb story anyway. Well, I could tell you a story. It's about being dead. Then brought back to life by a pit of mind-altering goo. Hey, I, I didn't mean that. I don't know what's worse. Having a chunk of my life taken away from me, or coming back to everyone thinking I'm gonna snap. I'm sorry, Jason. We shouldn't have... I shouldn't have treated you like an outsider. My god, you're such a boy scout. No wonder you were the first. Thank you. 
used to be a fort back in the colonial days before they turned it into a prison. Right. I remember reading about that. What are you thinking? I've studied the architectural plans and found some oddities. There may be an entrance to the west. Good to know. I'll head over there now. If you meet any criminals going the other way. Belfry, I'm in. Time to find Harley. The X on her map corresponds to cell block 3, past Nexus processing. The guards have withdrawn their patrols from that block. Meaning it's anything goes in there. Got it. I'll tread carefully. Solitary and then send the doc in to take a look at him. Can't stand that guy. You know this escape attempt is gonna buy you two more years of peace. Heads up! It's a mask! and a riot? Harley can't be far.
Well, well. If it isn't, Brat Girl. You here for chat? Just us girls. I got ice cream. Oh, yeah. That's definitely why I'm here. Uh-huh. Was it too much to ask for you to visit earlier? You have some information for Batman. What is it? Wait a second. This means that Bats is dead. For real? me to profile some criminals. On account of me being a brilliant psychiatrist. Hmm. With the added experience of being an actual criminal. Hey! I am not a criminal! A misunderstood. No more games, Harley. Show me what you've got. Everything is in this book. But I'm missing my piece de resistance. I need you to follow up on this here card. That'll make it perfect. Or you could just give me the whole book. It should be down in records. Okay. Bye. Elevator back by processing. That probably leads to the basement. Processing self breach. Containment in progress. Tonight is looking up. You are so completely done.
purpose? The guards got their hands full. And I heard Batman ain't doing nothing no more. Impossible. Lucky look! Uh, no! Can't dance with her! Trip her up! <laughs> string people along, but she wouldn't have sent me here for no reason. What did she want me to find? Time to check the card catalog. Interesting. what Harley was looking for. I think I've got what Harley wanted. Now to get her to give me that book. I wonder what this has to do with Batman's investigation. wants from that particular record she definitely has a reason just hope she's willing to share I can't leave these criminals alone for one second you're in prison Done running errands. Gibby. Now, how will I get this to you? ever do anything the easy way, can you, Harley? Of 
course. No other way but through. What now? What part of this did Batman actually ask for? Huh. Did she 
just... Yep, she hung up. I added new evidence to the board. Thinking about what happened at Blackgate, Ms. Gordon? I can't believe I let Harley play me. She got away, and who knows what else she has up her sleeve. She hasn't left any other messages or maps. Do you have any leads on where she might have gone? Nothing concrete, but she does love to play with the freaks. A good place to start, then. Harley's profiled some seriously antisocial prisoners here. Look, something's going on at Blackgate. We lean on that warden, we're set. No, these records go back centuries, man. The warden's new. Now she's involved. How did I miss this? Oh, right. Harley's stupid system makes no sense. Babs. Hey, Babs, what did you figure out? <laughs> they all got out on appeal. That's what Harley was tracking. In every case, key witnesses were murdered. Look, they were all pinned up with knives, just like Langstrom. Bruce is on to something. Oh? I think I've got something. Oswald Cobblepot, the Penguin. He's like everyone else in here, except he served his sentence every single time he was arrested. Someone must have hung him out to dry. Might be he's willing to talk. He runs the Iceberg Lounge now. Claims he went legit. <laughs> he definitely runs more than liquor through that bar. I wouldn't know. That man would never take me. <laughs> if you wanted a fake ID, Tim, all you had to do was ask. Oswald's dangerous. And we can't forget, Harley's still out there. We have to be careful. Relax, dick. We got this. on a prominent and often controversial figure, Oswald Cobblepot. The most infamous, if not famous, member of Gotham's long-established Cobblepot family, Oswald Cobblepot entered into business from a young age. These days, he can often be seen personally welcoming guests at his entertainment palace, the Iceberg Lounge. But it was only a few short years ago that Cobblepot was better known as the Penguin, a notorious gangster tried and convicted for a litany of financial and violent crimes. Cobblepot insists he's turned over a new leaf after serving his time. He says that the only penguins in Gotham now are the tuxedo guests of the Iceberg Lounge. I'm Noor Rashid, and this is GCN. So that visit to Blackgate went well. Riots, chaos, mattress forts on fire. What else did you expect? 
for our friend to stay in her cell. But then again, this is Blackgate we're talking about. She knew our priority was the book. She had it all planned out. And knowing Dr. Quinzel, she's only getting started. Playing with a ghost, Alfred? You might say that. I'm finishing my last game with Bruce. I couldn't save our board from the manor, but I do have our notes. We tracked each move. To continue the game, if one of us was ever... away. Are you winning? Playing as Bruce, I can't see how he loses. Bruce is dead. Maybe he wins your game, but without him, we've lost. I'm not so sure about that. Not so sure he's dead? Not so sure we've lost. Bruce played an important role. But he never saw himself as the only piece in play. Feel it. Damn it, Harley. I've intercepted a rather urgent call from Star Labs. This seems different from the usual nighttime disturbance. They do some pretty dangerous stuff there. I'll head over and take a look. Hey! this there we go that seems right Using teleportation tech from the Justice League satellite, I... I bet I could zap myself short distances in a fight. Almost like a ghost. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so cool!
So fun fact, according to the warden, Harley wasn't even an inmate. She was just there to hang out. A little R&R, &R, yeah. Well, she's out in Gotham now, so that's great. You could visit him? I could what? He went to yours when... You could visit his grave. You haven't. <laughs> I'm not the one staring at the... You know. Sometimes you're an idiot, Grayson. Hey, Dick. Want to hear a scary story? Babs, I grew up with carnies. You can't scare me. If Harley still had her own practice when I was injured, she could have been my shrink in rehab. Babs, that's not scary. That's terrifying. Police are investigating the involvement of one of Gotham's most notorious criminals after a recent riot at Blackgate Penitentiary. Harley Quinn, the psychiatrist turned felon and frequent rival of Batman, was reportedly seen at Blackgate during the riot, despite the fact that she's not currently an inmate. According to sources within Blackgate, Quinn had been quietly using the safety of a cell as a kind of base of operations, enabled by some well-placed allies within prison security. Authorities are now looking into whether Quinn incited the riot, and what motive she could have possibly had to do so. You're watching GCN. I'm Nora... Do you miss Bloodhaven?
moves faster than a speeding bullet now. Like Batman would go for a less obvious entrance. Ain't seen the bed? Put the bat show up. This is like boring as shit. Speak for yourself. I don't miss the bat that's gonna run in our business. I can go up sooner or later. Always does. You gonna tap out? It's locked. <laughs> that door's sandalwood. Custom job. Fixing it's gonna be a pain in the ass. I have questions. Tell me what you know and I leave. Smile. Viral video of you assaulting a reformed citizen is the last thing you need right now. Reformed, huh? I believe that when I see it. It is weird you did your time, though. Unlike your friends. Someone's done their homework. Who's giving out the get-out-of-jail-free cards? If you really want to go down this rabbit hole, you need to know there's no coming back from it. Just tell me what I need to know. I'm gonna spell this out for you. With the bat gone, you're not worth my time. Get lost. Beat it! Belfry, our friend Cobblepot wasn't in the mood to chat. Whatever he knows, he won't say. All right, come back to the Belfry and we'll recoup. Sounds good. See you there.
I put some new info on the board. Penguin wouldn't talk. I don't have the same sway here I had back in Bloodhaven. You may be surprised to learn Batman struggled with similar challenges early in his career. So for a time, he focused his energies elsewhere in the city. When word of his work got out, people were more inclined to cooperate. The city. We've been so caught up in Batman's last case, we haven't been paying attention to the rest of Gotham. Gotham may not know Batman is gone, but it certainly feels his absence. There has been a marked increase in gang-related crime. Plus Penguin's own businesses. Maybe if we pay those a visit, take care of a few of the crimes, he'll be ready to talk. You've also received messages from Lucius Fox and Detective Montoya. They may be able to help. <sighs> Thanks, Alfred. Batman's gonna be a tough act to follow. You never were one for stage fright. An encrypted message from Fox Tecker. It's Lucian. Sorry I've been a ghost since the funeral, but I just realized I forgot to send flowers. If you're ever in the neighborhood, let's meet in my building. I'd like to give you them in person. Lucius Fox wants to give us flowers. Does he know couriers exist? Knowing Lucius, I suspect he has something far more useful for us. When you reach Foxtecker, head straight to the roof. Police are investigating the involvement of one of Gotham's most notorious criminals after a recent riot at Blackgate Penitentiary. Harley Quinn, the psychiatrist turned felon and frequent rival of Batman, was reportedly seen at Blackgate during the riot, despite the fact that she is not currently an inmate. According to sources within Blackgate, Quinn had been quietly using the safety of a cell as a kind of base of operations, enabled by some well-placed allies within prison security. Authorities are now looking into whether Quinn incited the riot, and what motive she could have possibly had to do so. You're watching GCN. I'm Noor Rashid, Gotham's trusted voice in news. Join the view, Lucius? <laughs> you trying to give me another heart attack? Batman taught you everything, huh? Batman was always big on keeping a step ahead of everyone. Don't know how he kept up with Gotham, though. I always feel five steps behind this city. You're getting there. The bat doesn't fall far from the belfry. From what I've seen, anyway. Thanks, I guess. Don't thank me yet.
The Metro and I always knew that something like this could happen. When I left Wayne Tech, we kept some research going. There are a lot of eyes on you now. No one's looking at Fox Tech. As long as I got a breath between the gills, you'll still have everything you need to carry on Batman's legacy. Speaking of which... You gonna introduce me? It's Luke's design. A custom bird to help you get around a little quicker. Hefty enough to support exactly one hero. Our own personal rideshare. This is great, Lucius. Now you can thank me. Thanks. Lucius, ready with the drone. How does it work? You're getting ahead of yourself. Before you can use the bird, you'll have to clear a path for it. Makes sense, I guess. Lately, the GCPD's not content to have jackboots on the ground. They've launched a network of surveillance drones to patrol the skies. If they're looking for you when you try to get airborne... We'll no longer be airborne. So how do we deal with the surveillance drones? A creative programmer could convince those drones to overlook certain targets. But for that to work, close-up scans would be required. I assume that's where I come in. Get up close and personal for some scans? The cops have the city divided into sectors, with a set of drones watching over each one. Until you scan all the drones in a sector, consider it a no-fly zone. And after I'm done scanning, our drone will be clear for takeoff. Got it. I'll send you the location of the first one so you can get to work. Expecting your boss. I've been traveling abroad, finding myself, seeing the sights, in Bloodhaven mostly. Well, since we lost Gordon, some cops are back to playing dirty again. Kane doesn't like it, but she's not doing much to stop it either. I doubt I'll have any more sway with the new commissioner than you do. I know Batman was helping Gordon clean up the force. But now any cops who used to be on Gordon's team are getting their asses handed to them. The gangs are ambushing them because they won't take bribes, and dispatchers are giving them the worst assignments because they make trouble for everyone else. So the good ones are left to fight or give in to the pressure. Hmm. The force sounds worse than ever. Look, I hate to ask, but can you keep an eye on cops when they're facing off against the gangs? I know a lot of my fellow officers have issues with vigilantes, but they need the help. Of course. Anyone crazy enough to fight crime in this city is worth fighting for. Thanks. I'll try to get you some resources to help you protect everyone in Gotham, not just us. It's nice to see you too, Montoya. about a vigilante saving a cop's ass. <laughs> Nearly spit out my coffee laughing. Maybe I should leave. Take a rest. We're getting 
after I think I'll take that thanks for the workout Spot me, who knows what they'll do. Be careful with those ice boxes. We don't want the new clients to <laughs> On the lookout for masks. Belfry, I have some cargo that needs to be put on ice if it's going to help anyone. Dr. Tompkins is on her way to the drop site. Meet with her and she'll handle it.
Do you have an appointment? I'm kidding. Come here. Thank you. Dr. Tompkins, I have an organ donation for you. Nothing surprises me anymore with these gangs. Thanks for the delivery. I've got a medical team lined up who can use it. I'll be sure to add medical courier to my resume. Belfry, I think that might be enough. <laughs> Penguin should be a lot more helpful after this. Just stay on guard. Cobblepot never does anything unless he benefits from it. I hope they know what they're doing. You know why the boss is so worked up? I gotta no, see no. what that was. <laughs> So you can use a door after all. You know what I want. They're listening. You may have questions. But I can think of a few reasons not to answer them. Hey, careful. Some of those are first editions. You know, those are all custom made. Very expensive. I never liked that thing. Clashes with the rest of the decor. I'm not even sure where it's from.
Gotham's elite keep getting a pass on Blackgate. But not you. So what? You forget the secret handshake? They were favored. I wasn't. Favored by... But no one talks about them. Not a whispered word is said. The Court of Owls is a myth. <laughs> Powers Club? Yep. Where the super rich go for shits and giggles. Might be worth a peek. Personally, I stay far away from that raptor's nest. But, you're good with sending me there. Typical. I lost years of my life to Blackgate. You go do what you do best. Just don't tell them I sent you. Belfry, you catch that? Penguin's feeling oddly helpful. That or he's just trying to set you up. Probably. But that doesn't mean he's lying. He seems to really believe in the Court of Owls. Fair enough. I'll dig up whatever I can on the court. Sounds like a plan. Belfry here. You want to do me a favor and check in on Alfred? He went out a while ago and he hasn't called. That's happening a lot lately. Maybe he's on a date. Another meeting with Jacob Kane. He said he wanted to walk. It's dangerous at night. He shouldn't take chances like that. That's what I said. And he called me a mother hen. Anyway, someone should check on him. Way ahead of you. That's a surveillance drone. Scan each one in the sector and send me the data. And then this airspace will be safe for our drone? Once I reprogram them to look the other way, yes. You've almost got it. Try again, but this time hold the scan for long. I found another set of surveillance drones we can take care of. Setting the coordinates now. They'll be friendly in no time. GCPD's trying harder now. These drones are shielded from scanning. Shields? Okay. So how do I get the data now? They have to drop the shields when they dock at a station. That's when you go in. Shouldn't be much trouble for someone with your skills. Wait for a drone to dock, then scan that sucker. Seems simple enough. Congratulations, you have your pilot's license. Anytime you want to fly to a new area, just scan all the drones and I'll take care of the rest. Thanks, Lucius. This gives us one hell of an advantage out here. Three. 
There's some surveillance drones. Scan them and then you'll be able to fly here. I need complete data. Take your time and do a nice scan. I've got the data. That's all of them. Nice work. This area is cleared for landing. I asked my uncle if he did help me where now. Colonel Kane. Sergeant Pennyworth. I'm sorry I had to push our meeting so late. Work never seems to stop in this city. Oh, I can certainly relate. The paperwork hasn't let up since Bruce's passing. <sighs> yeah. I still can't believe it. Burying Bruce was the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah. Do you remember what I told you after Martha and Tommy? You said, life matters when death matters. We take the living for granted until they're gone. I don't know what the Wayne Foundation will do without Bruce. I trust Master Grayson has been helpful? As you adjust? Yeah, he sure has. Dick had his first investor call the other day. I'm surprised how well he did. Every day I find... You geezers escape from the old folks' home. Don't you know it's dangerous out here at night? Every day I find new reasons to be proud. Empty your pockets or I empty the gun. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Quite the about face. That punk didn't know who he was messing with. Come inside. We'll have a drink. Catch up. Don't have to twist my arm. Let's not be long, though. I wouldn't want anyone to worry. Belfry, got anything court-related? The Court of Owls. A secret society as old as Gotham itself. Run the city behind closed doors. According to the old poem, anyway. Okay, but how does that line up with what Penguin said? If this all-powerful court really is out there, they might be the ones getting all those creeps out of Blackgate. Which means they've been getting away with murder for centuries. I hear you. Fingers crossed we'll learn more at the Powers Club. Belfry, I'm at the Powers Club. It's... 
It's something. That house is at least a century old and had who knows how many renovations. The blueprints we have on file are catastrophically out of date. So we're going in blind. Fantastic. You know, Belfry, I usually try to avoid the Powers Club. Bruce Wayne's ward declining his annual invitation? Again? Seems rather rude. <laughs> Something about Gotham's socialites just... Makes me want to have a very long shower. I'm in. Good. We'll be here. Let us know what you find. They have a few guards. They told you to take an extra long lunch too, huh? I'm not complaining. Nice to get a break once in a while. So what do you think the poor bastard did? What poor bastard? <laughs> as far as I know, I just got a longer break. <coughs> Was that? <coughs> well, if it ain't... All right, now I can rummage in peace. AR shows a trail of blood. I wonder what else I can see. There's something under the floor. The hatch is connected to some kind of network. There's got to be a way to open it. be working at a club. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. It's a gentleman's club. Whatever that means. Just saying, I was hoping for something a little more clubby and a little less creepy. Shut up. It's easy money. We barely have to feed the snobs anyway. Yeah, what the hell's that about? Who cares? The less we know, the better. Looks like things are finally starting to ramp up around here. Yeah. Why security so tight lately? Who knows? Big wigs with big money want to feel important. Nothing to see. I gotta read between the lines. Here we go.
knocked out. Watch your backs. <clears throat> oh, ah. Bit on the nose, as it were. And done. Staircase. That can't be good. Belfry, I found some hidden stairs. I'm going down. Belfry. Nothing. That's not great. Enable logging mode. Send as soon as you can. That's strange. The blood leads directly to the wall. Not seeing a way out. But there's always a way out. That did something. Whenever you hear this, Penguin was telling the truth. The Court of Owls, they're... They're real. Wonder how deep this goes. His death has cleared the way for our new acquisition. Good. However, do try to be careful where you let them dig, my dear. <laughs> As for that other issue, 
We've already bribed the senators. I can assure your bill will pass early next month. Wonderful. I, I am bored dealing with filth. I'm sorry, Mad. We need to get you to safety. Scare your eyes scratching at the walls. They're all soft. <laughs> I guess the only way forward is through. No one gets through. The ceremony can't be delayed. You don't need to tell me that twice. This is our chance to impress the voice. Kill the intruders first. Then you can think about rewards. Be the owner of all that blood. Wait, wait up! Forgive me. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Please. Death to the traitor. And dead to the trespasser. Kill. Respectable scum. Kill them. The voice of the court comes. He will dictate the punishment. Give your failure. You will atone with blood. Don't do this. I won't do anything. And you, Vernon, do not belong here. The last time an intruder set foot here was more than a century ago. The punishment for this insult remains the same.
Those are human bones. This is not good. Victims. This is a mass grave. This could be a way out. Glad to have you back online. What happened? Are you all right? I think I'm okay. What happened is kind of a bottle of wine conversation. Let's talk when I get back. Copy that. See you soon. Did you know that Bruce was looking into the court? I didn't. There were few things he kept from me, but this was unfortunately one of them. For me too. We managed to log some voice recordings of the court, but they're difficult to make out. You sure? You just forget they had play. Tim. You know, you weren't the first Robin, kid. Or the second. A bunch of files got corrupted. I'll run some diagnostics, see what I can recover. Let's see if Master Bruce left us any more clues. Margie the Tattooed Lady would tell us stories about the court back at Haley's Circus. You used to say they were watching and they'd steal us away if we gave a bad performance. Always assumed it was just circus legend. Not at all. There are a number of references to the court in Gotham's history, but nothing concrete. I can't authenticate any of these sources. Supposedly some wingnut wrote a tell-all book about them. But it's a legend in and of itself, so... Shame, really. Such a work would have made a wonderful addition to the library. The earliest version of the court rhyme is from the 1700s. And says they're after the Fountain of Youth. <laughs> Seem pretty kill-happy for people who want eternal life. Those aren't mutually exclusive. There were a lot of bodies in that pit. And one of them was holding this. Might open something useful. Our scans revealed an isotope embedded in the metal. It definitely has a match. It's a key. So? Let's find the door. on the board. In today's Gotham Minute, we focus on a prominent and often controversial figure, Oswald Cobblepot. The most infamous, if not famous, member of Gotham's long-established Cobblepot family, Oswald Cobblepot entered into business from a young age. These days, he can often be seen personally welcoming guests at his entertainment palace, the Iceberg Lounge. But it was only a few short years ago that Cobblepot was better known as the Penguin, a notorious gangster tried and convicted for a litany of financial and violent crimes. Cobblepot insists he's turned over a new leaf after serving his time. He says that the only penguins in Gotham now are the tuxedoed guests of the Iceberg Lounge. You're watching GCN. I'm Noor Rashid, Gotham's trusted point in the Morning, Alfred. Richard. Uh, 
You know more than anyone that being a leader has a cost. You needn't shoulder it all alone. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, at times, you can be much like Bruce. I'm nothing like him. <clears throat> Of course not. So unlike him, you would never push through an injury. I'm fine. <clears throat> See? Knowing when to take the help that's offered is a sign of a good leader. Way overdue for a rematch, Mr. Todd. Whoa. You got the Horror Classics expansion pack. How could I turn down scares and beats? <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> New Challenger! Next level, Pit of Despair! Get ready! Whoa. The Lazarus Pit? Yeah. yeah. It's stupid. I'll be fine. It's not stupid. Uh. You died. It's okay to not be okay with that. Uh. Know what? I'm hungry. I'll get some takeout from Big Billy Burger. You want your usual? One bacon ultra belly combo coming up. I'll be right back. Hey. Thanks, Babs.
Vigilante activity is on the rise in Gaza. GCN tip lines and social media are lighting up in recent days with reports of masked heroes disrupting criminal activity across the city. Curiously, none of these incidents seem to involve Batman, who has not been seen in Gotham for quite some time. Hand me that coolant. Did it? Hurt, Jason? <laughs> when I fell from heaven? When you came back to life, did the Lazarus pit hurt? It changed me. Hey, Lazarus isn't gonna bring Bruce back, Tim. Who's to say he doesn't want us to try? I... everything out and expect things to work like they did. Then what am I supposed to do? Try grieving. Cobblepot agreed to help. Me too. I've rarely seen him this scared. But after the Powers Club and that death pit, I get it. It's a grim way of discovering the stories about the court were real all along. But now that we know about them, they won't be able to hide anymore. Belfry, got an address for me? By cross-referencing the isotope in the key with Gotham architecture records, we've managed to narrow it down to a location. I'm sending you the coordinates now. Got it. Thanks, Belfry. <laughs> 